Gary, it's been a tough afternoon. Just give us your overall reflections. Yeah, disappointed with the result. Uh, got off to a poor start, gave a, a really bad goal away, uh, which made it difficult. I thought we controlled the rest of the first half without creating too many opportunities. Yannick had a great chance, but it's a brilliant save off the post. And we had other little opportunities in the second half. We're in total control, but again, didn't uh, penetrate enough, didn't create enough chances. And uh, the more the game went off on, left ourselves vulnerable to counter-attacks, which uh, Oxford punished us with. So, disappointing, a game we need to learn from. Uh, but overall, I didn't think it was a 3-0 game. I thought, you know, there was moments in the game that, that went against us and uh, we have to dust ourselves down and go again. At times, we didn't quite see ourselves, I thought. And do you think that although the squad was entirely different to Tuesday night, that as a collective, perhaps that result has had some sort of mental effect on the group? No, none whatsoever. Uh, I felt like the team were ready. I felt like the team have trained excellent this week. I think we are playing with no number nine. We've not got a recognised number nine fit enough. James, he was obviously fit enough to come on. So that gives us a little bit of a problem. And that's probably why we looked a little bit toothless at times. Not enough people running from deep, which we wanted in the scoring zone. But uh, like I said, I can't fault their effort and what we, we tried to do. We just didn't quite have the understanding or the intensity in the final third to, to go and make it happen and turn it into goals. But I thought at 1-0, if we could have scored, then we were very much on the ascendancy at that point and the game would have changed, but left ourselves open to two vulnerable uh, counter-attacks and uh, they, they scored two penalties from it. It seemed Oxford perhaps had an answer for a lot of things that we were trying out there today. Yeah, we've watched them. They're, they're a pragmatic team. They sit behind the ball, they, they hit you on the counter-attack. We knew exactly what we, they were going to do. We just fell into the trap of playing too slow at times and not penetrating enough on the, the last line. Not not understanding when we had 1v1 opportunities, how we can go and turn that into either you know, fouls by, by being aggressive or, or getting the ball in the scoring zone. And uh, it's, it's a lesson, like I said, we are a, a, a team that's still developing and we have to understand the mistakes we've made this game that have cost us. But uh, we, we know where we are as a group. We know we've still got a lot of players to come back and, and help us with, with certain things. Uh, and like I said, we'll look at that next week and learn from it. Will Ameson has been an absolute rock at times for us at the back this season, as we've spoke about before. Two penalty incidents that I think, knowing Will, he'll certainly learn from those and certainly be a stronger player for it, I think. Yeah, I thought the first one was very soft. I thought the ref wasn't great all day. Uh, the time waste from very early, the goalkeeper taking time at goal kicks and the new rule was meant to be addressed with that. So I didn't think that helped us either. Positives, Harry Kite back from that injury, as we were hinting might happen on Thursday, but have we perhaps lost Ryan Trevor? Was anything in that half-time substitution? Yeah, Trev's just felt his ankle, he rolled his ankle. Uh, we don't know the full extent of it, it's, it's swollen up, so uh, we'll have to address, uh, assess that tomorrow and, and see how he is. Towards the end of the game, you had two attacking changes, Sonny Cox and Vinnie Harper. It looked like they were getting ready at 1-0, it, it was then 2-0. They were obviously subs that were, were aiming to, to draw an equaliser and, and just came. that second goal came at a bad time. Yeah, we, f we felt like we were playing well without really uh, you know, creating enough chances and, and getting enough men in the scoring zone. And uh, We don't have you know, that many attacking options. We've, we've got obviously Big Ads is out injured, Dion's out injured which gives us real threat, Niskin in gives us that real threat in the, in the final third and we don't have that to call upon but we were obviously trying to change the game and, and put players on but understood that we didn't want to leave ourselves too open and uh, it proved to be the case that we, we opened up the middle of the pitch twice, lost the ball in bad areas and, and got punished for it. The fans have stuck by us in what's been a really difficult week, there were, you know, 900 today and we've got the opportunity on Tuesday to, to give them something a little, with a cup game with, with no pressure on ourselves and, and looking to create a little bit of history. Yeah, they're amazing, they, you know, they travel such a long way for, for every away game and we, you know, we're disappointed we couldn't get them a result today, we thank them for the support that they give us again. Uh, there is pressure on Tuesday night, we expect to win every single game from within the dressing room. I've said to the players, we, you know, today's a disappointment, we have to learn from it, but uh, we recover and we go again for a, for a great game on Tuesday night against the Premier League team and then back to league action next Saturday. Seems to be sort of the exact game you want after a result like this. Yeah, I think you want to play quickly. The, the way the game went and the, the manner that we lost the game, I think you, you know, it's better to have a game midweek rather than wait a full week. So, like I said, we'll, we'll travel home, recover, eat. Uh, and rest and recover the right way 
uh, to be ready for a huge challenge of a, a Premier League team coming to SJP. Thanks, Lockhart.